everyone and welcome back to another reading vlog. Say hi, Millie. Say hi. It's been a minute, I feel like, since I filmed one of these because Clay and I have just been traveling all sorts for the past month, every weekend, basically. So I couldn't be more excited to be filming another one of these. This weekend is quite the mixture. Going into the weekend, I thought I wasn't actually gonna be doing anything besides laxing and reading, which is the plan for two out of the three days, which like Friday night and Sunday. But Clay actually surprised me with um, a fun little day adventure for tomorrow, which I'll bring you along on. We're taking the train, we're going to Wisconsin, which we have not, neither of us have ever been to Wisconsin before. We're gonna go to a Cubs baseball game, which is gonna be really fun. Of course you'll come, but back to the topic of this video. Reading vlog, reading vlog, reading vlog. I ended up reading six books last month, which I'm really excited about, and I'm hoping to carry over that momentum into April. So far, I've already read one book this month, and I've started another one, and I feel like the second book I started, I'm gonna completely fly through. It's my most anticipated book of the year, like literally top of the list. Um, so I'm hoping to get through that and hopefully start another book. That's my goal for this month, as well as this month, this weekend, as well as relax, maybe do a face mask, hide from the cold. It's so cold, it snowed yesterday. It's just horrible. Um, but yeah, let's show you what I wanna read this weekend. So hold on. Alrighty friends, here are my reading plans. Ignore the poop bags. It's just, it's just my life. But first and foremost, we have Stormcaster by Cinda Williams Chima. I've already read about 120 pages. There's 500 total pages. The name of the game this weekend is to finish this whole book. I hopefully want to read at least 200 to 250 pages of it tonight. Read a bit tomorrow on the train to Wisconsin and home from Wisconsin and then wrap her up on Sunday and then immediately jump into Obsidio, which is the third book in the Illuminate Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I always just completely fly through these books. The formatting definitely helps, but they're also just so unbelievably action packed. So those are my reading plans. When Clay gets home, I'll have him go over his reading plans because he's actually almost done with the book. He's very, very proud of himself. I don't think he's actually ever read as much as he has uh, in the past three months um, since like college. So I think he's, he's pretty he's pretty impressed with himself, which I, I'm really happy for him. I'm really proud of him too. He's, uh, I won't spoil anything. I'll let him talk about it, but yeah, he's almost done with the book. And then my friends, it's time for me to push Scythe on him like it's my full-time job. Also, you guys need to read Scythe too, so that's that. But yeah, those are my reading plans right now. I'm still working from home for a bit, so I'm you know, on email doing all that fun stuff. <laughs> um, but I will check in later when Clay gets back, and hopefully I can convince him to make a quick pit stop to pick up our new shams. I'll fill that in more once, if they appear. Otherwise, mystery shams. Okay, goodbye. Clay's home, and what'd you bring, Clay? You brought the goods. He brought the shams. Funny story, so these are supposed to go on my bed to match my quilt. I bought two of them, but I accidentally bought one pillow, and the pillow's the wrong size. So this has escalated very quickly to be Reagan messed up. Darn it. It's all a sham. <laughs> it's all a sham. Good news, I was able to jam the too big pillow into the pillowcase, and I actually think it looks okay. Bad news is we still just have one. So imagine this duplicated. I'm happy with it though. It really, you know, like matches my quilts. Imagine how nice those will be to recline on to read. That was my main goal. And I even karate chopped it like they do in hotels. Oh. Hi guys, checking in. Sorry if I've been a little hyped since the start of this video. There's something about this Friday that has gotten me very excited. I think I've been looking forward to this relaxing weekend for so long. And I'm also tired that it's all just like coming out as pure excitement. But that being said, I'm excited about the books I'm reading. I'm excited about my new shams, even if I just have one pillow <laughs> right now. I did order another one, but like, how did I not realize I just ordered one pillow? Anyway, Clay's home now, as you saw in the previous clip. So I'm gonna bother him and make him tell us what he's reading and how he's feeling about it. So hang tight. He's in here. Clayton, no video games. Let's talk about books now. Alrighty, we're all snuggled up. Millie's here too. Aren't you, Millie? Hello, Matilda. But it's time, Clayton, for you to make that face you always make. And two, talk about what you've read. So tell us, tell us where you're at. What are you reading? I'm reading A Conjuring of Light. 
The first book off the TBR I gave you? Yep. That's yep. so great. In the third book of the Darker Shade of Magic series. Mm -hmm. And they are, uh, this book, I don't want to be too spoilery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, don't um, be too spoilery. How far are you? Because you're not quite done yet. I'm a little past two thirds done, so I hope to finish this weekend. It's first book. Um, so, so fast, I'm we're so doing proud. pretty good, and uh, it's really good. Uh, the, one of my biggest, you know, kind of problems was, and not, and I like the first two, and I especially like the second one, following the first one. But one of my biggest problems was, I sometimes felt like there wasn't a backstory or enough like understanding of how the world worked, or just general. They didn't have like a lot of fun sometimes building the world mm -hmm. um, in the first few, and this one is for one over 600 pages mm -hmm. there's a whole lot more of exploring the world and kind of explaining how the worlds because it's multiple worlds exploring how they work and the backstory of the characters and um, really interesting and in this one they do a whole lot of development of because all the characters are really gray obviously some are the, so the, some of the protagonists are you know more pure than others or more clearly right or wrong but um who's your favorite character I think the most interesting character is Holland yeah. So, I don't know if I'd say he's my favorite character. Do you like Delilah Bard, too? She's frustrating, but oh! she's fun. I mean, she's like... She's frustrating, but she's I, fun. Do I, you like Alucard? Do I like Alucard? Alu is that how you say Alu it? How do you I, say I've it? always thought Alucard. That's probably right. Because it sounds French. Alucard doesn't sound like any... Alucard does. He's like sexy. Sounds like Alucard. He's <laughs> sexy. Al really? That's a really clunky name. Yeah, Alucard. Yeah. That sounds better. Yeah. I think you're Anyways, right. Anyways. I um, like him. Anyways, I like I'll say one, one thing about Delilah. I don't love the whole thing where, ooh, ooh look at us. But uh, overall, you're really, really liking it. Your favorite of the series. Would you recommend so far? You haven't finished it yet. I'd highly recommend it. Yeah? Especially. Normally, I wouldn't like love to say, hey, you should read this series. The first one is pretty good. But it's worth it, right? But it is definitely worth it to Told get you. to the second and third. Yeah. And the, and the conflicts get bigger and bigger each yeah, book. Yeah, they really which, like ex they compound on each like other. Like the first one is more, you know, central to the character. The second one's more central to a group of characters. And the third one's more central to the world. world. Anyway, well, awesome check-in, Clay. So glad you're liking it. Can't wait to make you read Scythe next. Alrighty, it's a little later. Clay and I are about to head out and get a quick dinner and then I'm gonna come home and relax and read and watch the challenge and Clay's gonna hang out for a little bit but then what are you doing Clay? What are you doing tonight? Go to a house show. Yeah. Uh, he was like, do you wanna come? And I was like, LOL, that's a hilarious joke. But I was like, have fun. I might have over ordered. I got mussels, fries, Clay got a pork sandwich. It's time to go in on this. I am back from dinner. Clay left to go meet up with his friends, and I'm about to watch the challenge and maybe even the New Jersey Shore. New Jersey Shore. What are words? Let's get started. I hung a hat on my wall. That's not relevant. Let's go. All right, challenge over. Time to go to the Jersey Shore. All right, I'm finally about to read. Reality TV sucked me in once again. Fooled by the reality TV. What's new? So let's start this. Well, not start. Continue to read this. It's gonna be great. Hello, good morning everyone. It's Saturday morning, Clay and I are dressed up in our Cubs gear because we're actually about to take the train or go downtown to get on the train to go to Wisconsin, Milwaukee to be specific, to go to the Cubs Brewers game, which we're very, very excited about. I have started the morning with a nice latte that Clay picked up for me, and I've just been relaxing, watching some of the Masters on TV, because I'm an old man, apparently. <laughs> And uh, we've just been having a nice slow morning. I did want to update you on how much I read, so hold on. So I was actually only able to read about 80 pages of Stormcaster until I fell asleep in my bed with all my lights on with the book on me. Classic. But those 80 pages were great. I also ultimately, um, I started the book, I read like 50 pages, and then last night before I picked it back up, I read the summary online of what happened in the first two books because I don't, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this. When you're super into a series and you read it right when it comes out, but then you have to wait 365 days and read 60 books between that book and the next book, I was like, I don't remember pretty much anything that happened. And summaries, online summaries are the best. And I saw on Twitter, someone tweeted, they were like, it should be a requirement in any series 
but to have a summary of the first, like the previous book, and the first two pages of the book to, as an optional uh, thing for the reader to have before they jump into the new book. That would be so helpful. But in the meantime, I'll use online summary. So shout out to the person who made a summary, a really, really good one online because it totally anchored me in the story. But yeah, so far, I'm loving it. I'm flying through it. I mean, there's really not much I can say that's gonna be a surprise about Cinda Williams Chima. Like, I love her books. I fly through her books. Her characters are great. Her world is great. It's just everything. The first 10 pages, you're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. And then like 30 pages in, you're like, boom sucked in love everything uh there's some new characters in this book destin and evan who are just like my babies i love them um this is a great third installment to the series everything is coming together in an amazing way i really cannot say much of anything because this is a continuation series of another four book series that yes you have to read before you read the shattered realm series otherwise like the first 30 pages of the first book to the shattered realm series spoils like a lot of what happens in um seven realm series plus the shadow realm series like main conflict is kind of an extension of some things that happened in the first book and kind of shows how politics are not going to be just like solved in one war and like consequences of like one scene in the first series can unravel into a conflict 25 years later and um and it lasts for 25 years and it's just so good it's so good um anyway loving the book clay and i are both gonna read on the train to milwaukee which is great so i'm hoping to read another 100 pages to get about halfway through um before i go watch some cubs baseball watch some baseball i'm gonna get back here at like nine and then i'm just gonna lay in bed and read some more so it's gonna be like reading baseball reading what else could you ask for truly um but yeah i will bring you guys along on the train ride so quick ootd uh wearing my cubs bryant jersey i'm wearing a turtleneck to stay warm underneath to go i'm also gonna be wearing a coat my new jeans which i showed off on an instagram haul so check those out i got them like 50 percent off 60 dollars from madewell my white supergas which are still super dirty but my favorite sneakers and glasses like every day but yeah Baseball OOTD. We're on a train to Wisconsin. We're in Milwaukee now. Just got off the train. I read like 100 pages. How many pages did you read, Clay? About 60, 70. Nice. Now we're going to the game. Give me like three hot dogs. I'm so hungry. tacos on the way home and we're gonna watch some southern charm because it's back on bravo we both love that show um i will catch up with you guys after we eat and tell you about my reading because i was actually super productive reading on the train so so excited to fill you in hello guys it is a bit later clay and i demolished our korean tacos and then i realized southern charm did not premiere yet so we watched some queer eye now i'm in the bedroom about to watch more queer eye because clay went and played video games but before i venture into another episode and fall down a completely different rabbit hole that i'm happily to fall down i wanted to update you guys quickly on how much i read today excuse millie she's uh playing with her little toy but I ended up reading over 200 pages today, riding on the train to and from Milwaukee, which I'm super, 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 super duper happy with. Um, I anticipated reading, but I wasn't quite sure how much I'd be able to read, but we found the quiet car on the train, which was my favorite place on the planet, um, and just got so much reading done. Clay and I loved riding the train too. So relaxing, we had so much leg room, like the movement of the train and the scenery outside the window was just really, really nice. But uh, I read 200 pages, or over 200 pages of this. Stormcaster's freaking awesome. The characters, the story, like everything starting to converge in this third novel, and it is just becoming explosive. And I'm pretty darn sure there's gonna be even more in this series. I don't know how long this series is gonna be, but 
I love all the characters. I love all the settings, all the locations. Um, I don't want it to end. It's absolutely incredible. I could go on and on about it. But yeah, I have about 120 pages left of this book. I feel like I'm going to read a bit more tonight and then probably completely just crash, fall asleep, and then uh, finish it tomorrow and then start Obsidio. Tomorrow our plans aren't crazy. Um, we really just want to, I need to film videos and I need to shoot some stuff for Instagram, just fashion content for Instagram. And then uh, we want to run, we need to run some errands, do some returns. But other than that, I got nothing going on but reading. But reading, oh, high five Millie. <laughs> she does this thing where she wants something and I interpret it as a high five. Ready Millie, come here. Come here, come here, give me a high five. Never mind, she's not interested. Oh, wait, is she gonna do it? Give me a high five. Oh, oh, oh. Um, but yeah, alrighty. So I'm gonna watch more Queer Eye because this is my life and I'm happy to be living it because I get to watch Queer Eye. That show's in existence, one of the best shows ever. And then I'm gonna try to read like 50 more pages tonight, try my best to, and then I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. It's Sunday. I'm filming videos. Let's see. And I was watching The Amazing Race, but you should see my filming outfit. I'm wearing this really cute sweater and sweatpants and Ugg boots. Sometimes you just only get ready like from here up. Life of a YouTuber, you know what I mean? Um, but I drank my coffee. Millie and I were sitting on the couch watching The Amazing Race. I just filmed one video and I'm about to film a second one. I make Clay turn off his video game sounds because I can't film under these conditions, people. <laughs> I have quite the to-do list today, not gonna lie. So filming, editing, and uploading is step one of my to-do list. I had a bit of a slow start this morning. I was just being super lazy. But once we get that, we're gonna go out, run our errands, and then I'm gonna read, 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 relax, 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 before I work tomorrow. Work. <laughs> but yeah, okay, I'll check in with you guys later after I film and start editing because I gotta get through the Hey guys bit later I filmed edited and uploaded a video filmed another video and now Clay and I need to go run errands and then we can shoot some photos and then I can finally read and relax probably around 4 p.m. gotta love busy Sundays but okay we're gonna go run our errands and probably eat some pizza right Clay yeah pizza at our favorite place the mall made our first stop what'd you get Clay joggers, joggers. Now I just gotta return all the crap I buy on the internet, so up, up we go. And then we're going to Cheesecake Factory. Arrived at the Cheesecake Factory. Bread is about to be consumed. <laughs> Reagan's favorite thing on earth. I love bread. bread. Lunch arrived. Clay got a small plate, which just means normal size plate at the Cheesecake Factory. You gotta dig in now, so much food. This is a lunch special. Amazing news! My Euro Sham, my other Euro Sham game. Oh, this is such an exciting moment for everyone involved, mostly me. Clay was actually kind of happy too about it. So fun, yay, okay. I'm gonna watch some TV, <laughs> gonna read a book, gonna drink my Starbucks coffee. So happy to be home. Hello everyone, checking in. It is a few hours later and I'm happy to say I finished Stormcaster. It was amazing. I don't know how I'm gonna wait another whole year to get back into this world, be with these characters again. I'm also curious to know how many more are left because I feel like we're just getting started. Like three books to put, introduce the characters, get everyone in place. Mind you, all three books were incredible, but I feel like everyone is starting to be in place now. But like, I don't feel like everything can just be finished in a book, unless it's like 2,000 pages long. I could be wrong. I mean, Cinder Williams Trima does no wrong in my eyes. And I just, it's just, it was so good. Five out of five stars. I loved it so much. This might be my favorite one in the series. Each one has progressively gotten better. Again, because as more characters introduced, as the plot thickens, it only makes sense. So incredible. I'm also happy to say I've read like over 400 pages so far this weekend and it's only six o'clock. Clay's here, he's reading. And so I'm about to start Obsidio. Woo! Um, yeah, and I really feel like I'm gonna breeze through Obsidio because I read Illuminae and Gemina in like one sitting, both of them. I don't think I'll read this book in one sitting, but I'm definitely gonna power through it. And Illuminae is on Clay's TBR too. Speaking of Clay, how much have you read this weekend? How much do you have left? I don't know where I started, but I'd say about 100 pages. Good job. 
and I've got 100 pages left. Wow, are you gonna try to finish it tonight? I'm gonna finish it tonight. Ooh, big words, big words. I am gonna take, sorry, I thought Millie was chewing on my quilt. I she was about to get in, get in trouble. But um, I'm gonna take a break from reading because I've been reading for like a couple hours and I'm gonna watch some Amazing Race. Clay and I each have a glass of wine. It's time for the relaxing. We've been running around all day. I finished my book. It's time to just go full mode relaxing. Isn't that right, Clay? And then, right. I'll, and then I'll cook dinner later. Yummy, yummy for my tummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's pasta. Anyway, I'm going to watch Amazing Race now because I love all CBS reality shows. Hello, everyone. It's a couple hours later. It's pretty late, actually. It's like 9 p.m., but I'm going to start dinner now. Uh, we normally don't eat dinner this late at night, but we had... Um, a late lunch, so we didn't get very hungry, and then I had a glass of wine, and I got really into the amazing rays that's so bright, and I kind of lost track of time. So I'm gonna start dinner now, though. We're having shrimp pasta, which I'm very, very, very excited about, and so let's go ahead and get started. This is what we're making, shrimp pasta. As, um, as I've said a lot of times on my channel, uh, not sponsored by HelloFresh. Clay and I have been buying HelloFresh ourselves for like, six months now we hate grocery shopping we love mail ordered services and we're actually thinking about maybe switching it up to some other ones to maybe compare and contrast so maybe that can be a feature of the blog for any other lazy urban apartment nights out there um maybe try blue apron their advertising has been working on me but for now we're making this which i've had before and it's super super good so let's make it cooking and garlic and onion and chili which honestly what better combination and a pot of water boiling ready for the pasta I mean carbs are my thing man add the pasta to the shrimp and tomato mixture and you've got heaven and a one pan meal and dinner is complete we have shrimp pasta with linguine and it looks darn tasty and I'm totally gonna eat in bed and finish watching the finale of Amazing Race. Let's go. I just finished the new season of Amazing Race and Clay just finished. What did you finish, Clay? I finished A Gathering of Shadows. No. No. A Conjuring of Light. You did it! And what did you say to me right when you ended? You went, am I never, what'd you say? I said, do I not get any new stories? <laughs> With these characters? These characters. And I said, welcome to my pain. <laughs> um, yeah, that was so cute because I was like, I feel that all the time. Like, you don't you finally experience it recently. Yeah, I mean, I felt that before. It's not, yeah, it's not I know, the obviously. first book I've ever read. Well, I, know, I, know, I know that, but like, yeah. I feel like it's one of the more, it's been a while since you've read a series. I feel like yeah, you say that. Probably the last Harry Potter. series I read. No, I think uh, Hunger Games. But yeah, same feeling, especially with Harry Potter because you're in that series for seven books. Yeah. Um, and Harry Potter doesn't wraps up a lot faster than this book did. Mm -hmm. Harry Potter wraps up in like she 20 pages. It gives you pages. a lot of time to leave your characters. Yeah. I'm glad you liked it. What would you give it? What what star rating would you give a Conjuring of Shadows? It's not called the Conjuring of Shadows. Oh Conjuring my god. Of Light. <laughs> Conjuring of Light, the opposite um, of Conjuring of Shadows. I'd give it four and a half out of five. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I gave it five out of five. Yeah. If I was to give the books ratings, I'd say each was a half step up. So three and a half stars for the first. Four stars. Four stars for the next, four and a half for the... What book have you read that you would give five out of five stars to give people context? Cloud Atlas? Probably Cloud Atlas. And Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I'm trying to think of other books that I've even read. That's it. Well, I'm glad you liked it. And that really means everyone else should read it if you haven't. Clay... You know, a man who doesn't read that much flew through it. That's probably the fastest you've read a series in a long while. Oh yeah, that's the fastest I've read yeah. a series since Harry Potter. Yeah, I mean you read them all so quickly and I'm so proud of you. And what are you gonna read next? Tell the people. Scythe. Yay! I'm really curious to see how you're gonna like Scythe. Because I love Scythe. It's really dark and very, very interesting. 
I haven't read at all. I've been watching reality TV while Clay has been reading. It's been a very, it's been a very much of a role switch, if you will. But I think now I'm gonna start Obsidio and I'm gonna pressure Clay into starting Scythe. Because I think emotionally the best way for me to avoid a book hangover, which is what I tell everyone, when you finish an amazing book, don't wait. Pick something up immediately or it's just gonna be impossible. How come? For me anyway, like when I read an amazing book, I get like a book hangover pretty quick. And then I just think thinking about it and I lose all motivation to read. But if I like finish reading and then I sit there and I digest it for a couple minutes or like 30 minutes to an hour and then I immediately try to pick something else up. Otherwise I just fall into this black hole of can't continue on with my life. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely feel like I'm still digesting the end of that book. Yeah. Um, but it, it does, you, it wraps it up. I it's, know, it's, it's nice. It's a well wrapped up book. But you want more still. Also really want to get you to read more V.E. or V.E. books. You've tried Vicious in the past and you're a real drama about it, but I really think you'll like it. Cause, I mean, you liked her, those three I, books. I think after Scythe I want something a little bit lighter. Cause this is pretty Dude, heavy. I didn't really give you much light of anything on <laughs> TBR. Like, my Um, we can always reshuffle the, uh, the uh, old TBR. I always forget, like, I love intense fantasy, like, back to back to back to back. To. I don't read a lot of light fiction, but if we need to give you something a little lighter after sight, we Sometimes can I need the reality TV version of a book. I don't do that. That's why I consume so much reality TV post book, because my entire life is one just insane action story after another. Intense, 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 intense. But anyway, I'm so happy you read it. Yay, Clay! Um, give me another high five. Oh, first book of the TBR. Moving on to the next one. Maybe we'll get finished way before June or July or August. I mean, it is April. Let's we'll shoot. See. We'll see. We'll shoot for July. Over or under. Taking bets right now. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to start my book. Clay is probably going to cruise on the internet, but I'm going to try to convince him to read Scythe. And I'll check in with you guys tomorrow, probably, to get you know how far I get into Scythe. I'm going to try to read like 100 pages. So, good night. Matilda brought her favorite thing to bed. It's her bowl. Hey, Millie. Is that your friend, Bowl? You gonna bring it to me? Oh, hello. Oh, goodbye. Why don't you lay down and go to sleep? All right, I'll stop bothering you. Hello, everyone. It is the customary next day, end of the weekend reading vlog. Happy to say, I think Clay and I had quite the stupendous reading weekend. Personally, I read just under 600 pages, so I'm gonna recap all of everything I read right now. Um, the first thing was I read um, 450 pages of Stormcaster by Cindy Williams Chima this weekend. I loved this book, I love this series, it's the Shattered Realm series, and yes, 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 you have to read the Seven Realm series first. It has a lot of important context, and it, this series basically spoils that series. So if you're interested in one or the other, read the first one first. But in terms of a third book in the new Shattered Realm series, this book was awesome. Every book ups the ante. Cinema William Chima makes the best characters, and the way she's able to intertwine all these different character plot points together in like so many different explosive moments is just, I live for it every single time. I just loved this book, five out of five stars. It's, I was expecting that. Um, and I just, I just really, really loved it. There's not much I can really say without spoiling a bunch of stuff, but like multi-perspective, amazing high fantasy story full of magic, politics, um, intrigue, adventure, travel, like everything. It's such an amazing series. If you haven't read the Seven Realms series, read that so you can read this. They're both absolutely incredible. Please do it. After I finished a shattered, or not finished, after I finished Stormcaster, I did read just about over 100 pages of Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and um, Jay Kristoff. Really, really enjoying this. This is the third book, of course, the Illuminae Files series, which is just so good. Science fiction, action adventure. Clay just got back in with Matilda. Read just over 100 pages of this. Really enjoying it so far. I knew I would. This is a really fast paced series. Everything, oh my gosh, Matilda is so hype. Um, everything is moving so fast. Uh, new characters, new perspectives, but still have some of our old favorite characters as well. Set in space. So dramatic, living for it. Can't wait to continue to read this. Uh, probably finish it in the next couple days. Really liking it. And after Clay feeds Matilda, I'll make him talk about what he read this weekend because he also finished a book. All right, I pulled Clay over so he can quickly go over what he read this weekend. Go for it, Clay. 
I finished a Conjuring of Light. How many stars would you give it? 4.5 out of 5 stars. Give me, give me your thoughts, give me your feels, brief. It was really good, I really enjoyed it. A really great wrap up to the series. Every book got better uh, than the one before it. Mm -hmm. And uh, felt, you know, completely satisfied with the ending. Great, what are you reading now? He's already started a new book, it's very exciting. Sight. I worked! I have read the first chapter mm -hmm. and I'm already very intrigued. I like the writing style, probably even more than I like the writing style of E.E. Schwab. Mm -hmm. um, Excited to read more? Schusterman. Neil Schusterman. It's Ice. Yeah, he's one chapter in and he's liking it, so that's a plus. So that is the end of this reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I, maybe possibly we, will see you soon with another reading vlog soon. So, bye!